What is up, YouTube? It's John back with another episode of Opoom. Gonna be doing some One Piece outfits rankings this time around. I uh, was sitting down the other day, I'm thinking like, you know, what's a good video I can do? Tier lists are a bit dated, but at the same time, there's just some One Piece outfits I love. So I've got, uh, I've got my system set up here. Up top, we got Drip. That is the top-notch, top-of-the-line, tippity-top, number one best outfits. The straw hats everywhere. You know, when you got Drip and you know you got Drip, you get on the list. If your outfit's pretty gosh darn good, but you're just not dripping in it, you got a lot of swag going on there. That's going to be second tier. That's going to be still pretty freaking good outfits. Like, if I was wearing that at the club... I, you could feel like it's drip, but it, it's really more like a swag kind of thing. Your personality's got to carry you a little bit. Uh, say you don't necessarily have swag, but you're out there, you're trying your hardest. You got Riz, my man. You're risen it up. You're risen out. Uh, yeah, it's like it, it's like when you don't got drip and you don't got swag, but it's all personality. Threads are just here. That is some Riz right there. Then right below that, you got Bruh, man. You got Bruh. Like, you're, you're wearing that at the club? You're wearing that outside right now? You're letting people see you in that? Bruh. And then, absolute bottom, lowest tier we got here is SMH. It's like, what were you thinking when you rolled out of bed? No idea which one of these categories is going to be filling up first or fastest or what have you. But uh, well, I, the name of this tier list is just all the straw hat outfits. I don't know if that's true. But uh, yeah, we're going to go through, we're going to rank them. So let's uh, get started here. First up, we do have Chopper from Any's Lobby wearing his red vest. Uh, you know, if he was Tiny Chopper, this probably wouldn't be so good. But the fact that he's like Big Chopper, so he's got the tiny vest, you know, he, he's, he's looking ripped, he's looking jacked, he's letting those abs hang out. Uh, I will go ahead, I will say Chopper has swag. Now, let's move him down. Chopper's got Riz here. This outfit, the outfit's not carrying it, it's the abs that are carrying it. This man, he's walking around with Riz wide open. Uh, continuing with Any's Lobby here, we got Sniper King. Now, don't get me wrong. Sniper King is incredible. But... Man, I'm I'm actively doing it. I'm shaking my head. Like you wore this, you chose that outfit. Ooh, bruh. Here we have, I believe this is Brooke. We decided to cut off his head from whole cake. Uh, I will absolutely. I'll I'll give that outfit. That is some straight drip. Like Brooke in a suit just works. That's a fact. Uh, I believe like. Those red lines, very slimming on the already slim body, and then just the black, everything else really draws your attention to the center. Works for him. Here we have, I believe, also Brooke from Whole Cake, but this is when he was doing reconnaissance with Pedro. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm not 100% sure on that. Don't quite recognize this outfit. But you know what? He's still looking good. You know, it's still a good outfit. Brooks got a great sense of style. I think we should go ahead and uh who does this swag? Now this this outfit doesn't really have swag though. It's Brooke under the outfit carrying it. I'll go ahead and say this outfit's got some riz going on. Here's Patchwork Luffy from Wano. Uh don't get me wrong, like love Luffy's design on Wano, love all the outfits. But literally, you're just slapped up with patches. These, This is your old pair of jeans. You got holes in the knees. You got holes in the butt. This is this is your, you know, tank top full of stains and maybe a couple tears in it. Like, man, it's good to, like, paint the house in. But overall, I cannot see me wearing this in public. This is like, bruh. This is like... I was wearing this, and I had to run to the store real quick, but I didn't do this on purpose, I promise. Okay, next up, looks like we got Zoro from Wano. Uh, yeah, no, so this is, I believe, his first outfit on Wano. This is green blazer. This is just, like, basic, pure Zoro. 
and I don't want to say he's got outright drip uh, due to the, like just the simplicity, the lack of, I don't want to say lack of design, but you know, white on top, green coat. I'll say he's got swag, like, like the outfit's doing a lot of the work, but Zoro's putting in his effort here. It's simple, but he knows it's simple, and that's why it works. Uh, okay, coming up, we got Kanochi Nami. Ooh, ooh, so I'm not a huge fan of Nami, I'm going to be honest. Uh, spoiler alert. But, Kanochi Nami, I think, legally, this qualifies as drip. I think, like... Yeah, no, I like legally I don't think I'm allowed to call that anything else. That is drip by definition. It's right there. Oh man. We got Wano Usopp with them pants, that shirt. It's not even like this is the outfit you'd leave the house to paint in. But you know what? You know what? I am gonna put that in bruh. Cause one, he's right there with Luffy, like they're two bras right there. But at the same time, yeah, I mean, power to you. It's not like you you dressed up super hideous. You're you're rocking your own style right there. You know this is who you are. Uh, here again, not the best image. I believe this is Sanji from Wano when he was uh working the soba stand. Not too much to it. Like, there's definitely no swag going on. This ain't drip. And I don't know how much Riz this man is pulling. I don't know. Like, it's not a bad outfit. But at the same time, it's like, Ew, you know, wh why didn't we wear anything else today? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to go ahead. This is going, bruh. This is like, you didn't wear anything else. Here we have a uh, little baby chopper from Wano, a little ninja chopper. And try and tell me this ain't swag right here. Like, this is the definition of swag. He's here, he's confident, he's freaking adorable. Dude's got swag. This guy's dancing at the party, you're dancing right there with him. This man's running the club. Alright. Just... Excuse me, just moving you right on up to drip there, Miss Robin from Wano. Mm. Mm. Oh, found the next one. Frankie Wano working uh, with his carpenter master. Absolute. Ooh, ooh, okay, I'm a little biased, so I love Frankie's design. I know a lot of people don't. I really want to put him in drip. But is this drip? It, the. You're wearing this at the club. These are your work clothes. Nah, I think this is... I think this is swag. Is this Riz even? Nah, it's, it's swag for sure. Because the outfit itself isn't bad. Like, you know, you can have a good looking work uniform. But then the hair. The hair. Ooh. Okay. Next up, we got Brooke from Wano. Where he's just pretending to be a skeleton. <laughs> Except he's not really pretending. Um, yeah, I mean, like the it's it's tattered clothes. You literally have an arrow sticking out of you. That's go, that's you're not wearing this in public unless it's Halloween. And most of the time, it's not Halloween, like factually. Okay, next up we got my Jean Boy right here. Uh, Jean Boy racking his classic, you know, yellow robe there, orange cape. I don't know, I don't feel like yellow and orange really go together, but at the same time, works for the sunny, works for the metaphor of the sun. Uh, but as his, like, straw hat debut-ish outfit, I don't know. I, f I, I feel like he's got Riz, like, he carries it. The blue and the yellow really contrast with it, uh, the orange and the yellow really contrast with his blue skin. I'm gonna give it to Riz, I'm gonna say he's got Riz wearing that. Okay, here we have Zoro's raid outfit, if I'm not mistaken. And, yeah, I mean, again, Zoro just not overcomplicating it. He's, he's got the red belt there as a nice standout, kind of like Brooke up here. Um, but yeah, I, I'm going to say this falls under swag. It's not super spectacular. It's really the man making the outfit here is what's going on. 
raid Sanji, his freaking like mauve suit with the black undershirt that is by definition drip that is like mwah, peak drip right there we got Usopp coming at you again with his raid armor and yeah I mean like he's rocking it he's rocking it hard but again this is like him doing him not dressing for popularity and honestly, like, when you get down to it, it's just not that good an outfit. But I'm, I'm proud of him. I'm proud he's representing his true self. This is going to sit right there and bruh. Uh, okay, for this one, we literally have, like, a model of Robin with her mono outfit. I think this is Robin's raid outfit. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say she's got Riz, like... Robin's inherently attractive, we all know that, but she's not really carrying this outfit. It's the outfit doing the work. And it's not as good as when she was up here in her little, uh, oh, geisha outfit. Uh, but the outfits, it's really like all Robin, or it's really all outfit, no Robin. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna place that one down in Riz there. It's not a bad outfit by any means, but it's the outfit doing the work, not Robin working with the outfit, you know? Next up, we got Brooke in his half uh, white, half black suit. Uh, gonna be honest, I'm blanking on when he wore this. Was this? I really, I don't remember him wearing this. I wonder if some of the movies are in here. Maybe uh, somebody is gonna rip me a new one in the comments for not knowing this. But uh, yeah, I don't think the half and half works as well as the stripes do. I'm going to say this is, bro, this is like, you know, you saw this at the store, you looked at yourself in the mirror, and you're like, that looks pretty good. But really, it just looked pretty good because the store salesman keeps giving you bottles of champagne. Uh, yeah, no, sorry, Brooke, that one does not land for me. Uh, next up, we got Chopper in his little purple outfit. No, this one's straight out of Whole Cake. And again, that's going up there with swag. Like, we stand... A no, no, that's going up there in drip. Like, look at him. Look at him. The man exudes confidence. He's out here wearing a purple suit, and he's rocking it. Doesn't take his hat off. He's all serious. Love it. Represent, Chopper. Here we got Nami. Or Nami. We got Luffy from Alabasta. And nothing inherently wrong with this outfit. Like, it obviously functions to travel you across the desert. You know, it's it's long-sleeved, it's cool, you got the headgear. But man, the brown jacket over the red shirt and the blue pants with the different colored blue hat. It's like, man, you could have at least matched, my guy. You could have at least matched. I'm sorry. Luffy's doing what he wants to do, but what he wants to do just don't look good. Uh, on the contrary here... Now we got Zoro's Wano out, or Wano, Alabasta outfit. And man, my guy looks like he's been living in the desert. The orange headgear matching, I don't know, probably nothing on him. But the simplicity of the jacket. Zoro's just doing a great job of landing with swag. We're like, the outfit's good, but it's the man under the outfit carrying the outfit. Uh, next up here, another great Alabasta one. We got Nami Alabasta. Now, I know a lot of you are sitting there like, oh yeah, that's some drip right there. Like, that's prime Nami. I feel antithetical to that. Um, man, I, I gotta go, bro. Like, sure, Luffy's was a, a, a good outfit to wear in the desert. This is nothing. And I know she was given it as like a Sanji pervert gift. But like, come on, Nami. That sun's beating down on you. That's like, bro. Put on some clothes, bruh. Here we got Usopp, just that drab green, olive green going on. Not a lot to it. Like, he doesn't even, he's not carrying himself well on that. I feel like, you know, if he were to be the man he needs to be underneath the clothes, it'd work. But he's not even, he's not even putting in the effort. He's just out here faking the whole thing. He threw on some clothes, he walked out the door. This is SMH. This is like, dude... You gotta, like, brush your hair, brush your teeth, put on a clean shirt before you go outside, my man. Uh, now we have Sanji from Wano. I keep saying Wano. Alabasta. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure this is Sanji. I don't have a head here, but I'm like 90% certain. And I'll go ahead and give this one swag. Like, the outfit itself not doing much, but again, the guy under it's pretty well carrying the outfit. Uh, and the outfit's not bad, but, like, it, it's the essence of cool the outfit gives you. Plus, again, it's just functionally what you would want in the desert. Oh, boy. We got Chopper from Alabasta. And this little man is so freaking adorable. I... Oh, man, like... I gotta give it to Riz. I mean, he he doesn't quite have swag in this, but he's... The man's exuding Riz. He's just... He's out here. He's working it. He's rocking it. Like, are these the best clothes in the world? No, but... Mm, he's making every ounce of Riz drip out of those as best he can. Uh, now we have Luffy from uh, Drum Island. And he's wearing a women's jacket. He's he's the jacket's ripped. He's not fit for the cold at all. Was still wearing his shorts, no gloves. Yeah, no, this is SMH. This is like, dude, I know it was a messy day for you, but come on, man, put on some pants. Yeah, uh, next up, I believe this is Zoro from Drum Island. I think at least, and he's at least dressed. You know. I'll go ahead. Zoro's just doing a great job of maintaining swag. Like, the outfits are never spectacular, but he wears them so well. Uh, I'd be surprised if Zoro, like, doesn't break out of swag, but he, he's never had, like, a bad outfit. Uh, who is this here? I don't even know who this one is. I don't even know who this one is. Is this? I don't know. It's one of the female straw hats. It looks fine. Outfits doing all the work. I'm going to say this is Riz. Usopp, my guy. Welcome to Riz. You know, not the sexiest outfit. But he's working it. It's a functional outfit. It's exactly what you'd want to wear in the cold. And it doesn't look bad. It fits his color scheme. So, welcome to Riz, my boy. Oh boy, here we got base Luffy. You got the red tank top, you got the blue shorts, you got the classic Luffy look. I'm gonna say this is swag. Like, the outfit isn't amazing, but it's what the outfit represents. He's here for sunny adventures, he's here for good times, and he doesn't care what he looks like. He's just, he's having a good time, and you want to be part of that good time. Uh, now, I don't, I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. I do not remember this outfit. But this is like... Uh, the outfit itself is a mess. But the way he's wearing it, that is some drip. Like, he is, he is working that outfit. I, I don't know what that's from. Kind of reminds me of Sentamaru. But he's just out here working it. He's got the axe, he's got the bow, he's got the hat. None of it matches, and he's he's working it. Got Sanji from Drum Island next. Uh, and this is some straight swag. Like, Sanji looks good in this outfit. You get it? Like, he, it, it's a simple black jacket. It gets the job done in terms of warmth. But he looks good in it. Oh, next we got Luffy from what looks like one of those uh, the Boss Luffy filler episodes, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this is a fine outfit. You know, it's it's the classic uh, robes. Nothing fancy going on here. I'll go ahead and say this has got Riz. Like, you know, it's a good outfit. Not doing anything particularly fantastic, but it's working. This appears to be classic Zoro, just purple shirt, green pants, swords. And, uh, ew, I don't know. It's not bad by any means, but I think this time Zoro is doing too much work. And you can't just wear purple shirt, green pants, and expect to get away with it. Uh, you are not the Incredible Hulk, Zoro. A for effort, but I don't know. Ooh, 
we have Sanji here, and I forget what arc this is exactly. Like, this isn't Fishman Island, right? Why is it? It's on the tip of my tongue what arc this is. Is this Dress Rosa? No. I can't remember when he wears that shirt, but it's a good shirt for him. I'm going to go ahead and say he's got swag in this image. I think that's a safe assumption. I'm going to go ahead and take this time to resize this. Because I am going to run out of space soon enough. Yeah, we'll even we'll take that in a little bit. Well, then we'll do that. And we'll just have to cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay, next up looks like we have Nami from uh, Sky Island. And, man, you can't just put Nami in a bikini and expect me to like it. Um, yeah, no, it, it's the person doing all the work. The outfit really is just like, let's be super revealing. It doesn't land for me. Nami, put on some clothes, like SMH, like put on some clothes, girl. Uh, here we have also Nami from Sky Island. But at least this time we're clothed. I forget exactly what arc this is. Uh, I'll go ahead and say, this is bruh. It's like, you wore some capris, you wore a tank top. Like, I don't know. Do you just pick the first outfit you saw this morning, or like, what's going on here? Uh, Nika Robin Sky Island. This is going high, I can tell you that. But is this Riz? It, I don't know that this is swag. This could be Drip. It's a pretty good not Robin outfit. She's got like the uh, Laura Croft, Dora the Explorer vibe going on. I think this counts as Drip. I think she like pulls it off confidently. Uh, Luffy from Return to Water 7, it looks like. Just a t-shirt, some shorts. I'll say the man's got Riz. Like, it's nothing special, but it's a good-looking outfit. These are some new clothes. Uh, you just went shopping. You look good, my guy. Nothing fancy, but you look good. Ooh, Zoro from Arlong Park. Man, especially with the bandages, he still manages to dress himself look this good. That's like swag by default. That is just like all swag, baby. Okay. Spoiler alert, this next one is Drip, undeniably. Uh, we got Annie's Lobby Zoro, and he is going straight to Drip. Gold shirt, or gold jacket, no shirt. Sounds tacky, but plays well. Next up, we got Base Zoro. Just white, green belt, green pants. I'll say he's got swag. Like, you look at this man, and it's pretty evident you're dealing with a different kind of individual. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I need... Here. Aha! Aha! You can't stop me! Okay. And then... Ah! Anybody else ever get that weird winging, ringing in your ear? Yeah, you know what? I'm pretty well confident we're going to need to resize again, so I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay. Next up, we got Nami from Water 7. I'll admit, the blue shirt works for me, the short skirt works for me. This is some peak Riz from Nami. I got it. Nah, because, like, she comes up to me in the club. I feel like we can have a conversation. I think this qualifies as drip, honestly. She went from Riz to drip just like that. That's how it happens, folks. Uh, who do we have here? This is, this is Nami also from Water 7, I want to say. I don't know. I feel like this this is Riz. It's just lacking whatever. Maybe it's the tie. Maybe it's the blue shirt from the other outfit. But like, she wears this. That's okay. She wears that. That's an upgrade. 
Alrighty, who do we have here? This is Sanji from... Oh, this is Sanji from the Sea Train. Yeah, I mean, bare minimum, this is swag. Is this drip? This might be drip. Now nah, I'm gonna leave that as swag, because, like, don't get me wrong, you look good, Sanji. But when the standard is, like, maroon mauve suit, this just, it, it, this looks good, but does it look great? Uh, next we got Annie's Nobby Nika Robin, and I don't think anyone here is going to object to that being placed up in the drip. Uh, followed immediately by Nami from the Sea Train Annie's Lobby arc. Is this doesn't always work? Ooh, what is that? Doesn't always work for me. Uh, making Nami be revealing, but like the denim jacket, the top, the bottoms. Nami is working it, she's rocking it, she's running into battle like a thot. Uh, we got Luffy from Thriller Bark here. The orange vest, the brown pants. It doesn't look bad by any means. I'll go ahead and say this outfit has Riz. Like, it's really... Luffy doesn't vibe with this necessarily, but these are the clothes he had clean today. This is what he put on and it doesn't look bad. Nami from Thriller Bark. Um... This isn't bruh. It's not bad. I'll say this got swag. Like, I wouldn't I wouldn't wear this to the club. But, you know, maybe you, you're out somewhere. Maybe you're, like, walking down doing some window shopping. You bump into this girl. Like, that's a good-looking outfit. You could wear that proudly. That is, you got some swag there, girl. Uh, Nico Robin Thriller Bark. Man, Robin's so fashionable. I don't think I can ever place her this low on the list. Uh, I'll go ahead and say she's got Riz. Like, there's a natural charisma to her here. But at the same time, I don't know. I feel like she's just exactly copying her uh, Annie's Lobby outfit, but worse. Uh, here's my boy again. It's been so long. Frankie on Thriller Bark. Uh, obviously rocking the Speedo. Zora set the precedent with yellow jacket, no shirt. Uh, I'm going to say this has swag more than anything, though. Like, this is Frankie being Frankie. This isn't peak Frankie, but no doubt about it, this is how the man dresses. This is how he likes to dress. Uh, Luffy on Saba Odi. That's some swag right there. Like, I feel like the blue represents the arc so well. I feel like it fits him. Uh, I feel like it's pretty iconic considering everything that happens on Saba Odi. Yeah, I think Luffy, a blue shirt, swag. We got Base Nami here. And I'll say the Base Nami... Base Nami's got swag. Like, it's good. It's, it's you know, the East Blue's fairly fair, temper, fair temperatured. Uh, the blue shirt... Or the white shirt, blue stripes works for her. It's, it's a good outfit. Like, if you, you know, you're going to school, you bump into this girl, like, hey, you look like a real normal person. But then, obviously, there's more to her. But, like, I don't know. It works. It works. It's got swag. Uh, here comes Zoro. What outfit is this? When was he wearing white stripes? Is this Water 7? Uh, I don't remember, I'd like, I know this outfit, but I don't remember when he's wearing it. I'm gonna say, bruh. Like, it's not a bad outfit, but at the same time, like, it, the shirt does not match any of the rest of them, and the man can only carry so hard. Oh, see? Just like that. Just like that. Pretty boy swag. Stuck in my head all the dang time. Just have to boop, zoom out a little bit. Okay. Uh, heck, got to go even a little further even. Boop. Okay. Then we'll just like do that. Okay. Properly resized. Where are we at next? This Nami on Saba Odi? I feel like this outfit's fine. 
say it's got Riz, you know, it's a good outfit, but, you know, are you, are you really working it, or is the outfit working it? We've got uh, Usopp from Saba Odi as well here. Now, I'll give swag to Usopp on this one. Like, he decided to rock the open shirt. He's not the most confident man. Uh, the pants are a little wacky. But he's doing his darndest. He's taking a step of confidence, and I support it. Who do we have here? This is Sanji from when? I, I don't remember this one. Uh, despite him literally dripping, though, I'm going to say this is like, bruh. This is like, dude, I don't know what you're wearing. I don't know why you're wet. Please reconsider your life choices. Uh, Nico Robbins Skypea, it looks like. Yeah, some straight drip. Like, he's, no, sorry, that's Nico Robbins Saba Odi. That's my bad. Still some straight drip, though. Got Frankie, I believe this is Saba Odi. And I'm gonna say, I can't give it, he's swag. He's just, he is swag. You got Luffy from Impel down here. Well, I guess, like, technically this is um, Amazon Lily. And I know this isn't his outfit. It doesn't look bad, though. This is like, bro, this is like, what are you wearing and why does it work, you know? Like, what are you doing and why don't I hate it? Uh, here we got classic Luffy post time skip. And it's it's pretty much the same. He's added a belt. He's added some longer sleeves. You know, this is like a Luffy that means business. I'll go ahead. This guy's got swag. Like, he's doing everything he set out to do, but better. Uh, this appears to be Zoro from Wano again. Different. Oh, I guess, yeah, no, it's slightly different Zoro from Wano. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's the same. He's green robe, red belt. It works. That's what Zoro do, is he wears simple and he makes it work. This is Sanji, I want to say... I don't even know when this is. This is just basic Sanji, though. I'm going to go ahead... Uh, lack of context, I'm putting this one in bruh. It's like, my guy. You, I've, I've seen you. I know you can wear really nice looking clothes. So why is this what we're doing? Why is this what we're working with? Let me just do that. And that. Okay. My goodness, this is filling up so much more than I thought it was gonna. Okay. Base Usopp. This is SMH. This is like, dude, you've been dressing like you're a kid and you're not a kid. Like, the overalls, you're trying the cool belt, the one wristband. It's like, man, what up? Nami, Fishman Island, Return to Saba Odi. It's like, bruh. It's like, yeah, you had your glow up in the time skip, okay? But, like, put a shirt on, Nami. Come on. This is how you want to represent the King of the Pirates? Come on. Ooh. Flip side of the same coin. Okay, we got Usopp return to Saba Odi. And this right here, this is everything right. Like, it's not staying here, don't worry. But, like, this is him as a kid. This is him as an adult doing the same thing but making it work. Uh, I will go ahead. This outfit has drip to it. There is a significant amount of drippage and drainage going on. Uh, Nico Robin, same thing. It's like, yeah, yeah, you, you, you went away during the time skip, you learned a lot, you came back. You're undeniably an attractive woman. Like, this isn't against you. But is this how you want to represent yourself on the on the King of the Pirates? Ah, I, I, biased. She's getting swag. Like, that's a good outfit, I got to admit. Okay, Frankie returned to Saba Odi. It's his new body is a little jarring, I'm not gonna lie. And the outfit itself isn't really anything. So this I'll I'll do bruh, cause like if I left for two years, came back to see this guy and this is what happened, I'd be like, what the bruh, dude what what? Okay. 
ready for some drip though. Return to Sabaudi Fishman Island, Brooke. That is some drip. The dude makes it work. Like every part of that outfit, nothing goes together and he pulls it off like you'd never suspect. Okay, we got Jean Bay from Fishman Island just wearing the white robe. This is bruh. This is like, yeah, you're dressed. This is fine. You don't necessarily look bad, but do you look good? Okay, Nami, or sorry, Luke, why do I keep doing that? Luffy from Punk Hazard wearing his candy cane coat. This is bruh. This is like, man, you decided to dress like a piece of candy today. And he carries it well. He's, you know what? This is as Riz. Like, he's having a good time wearing this coat. It's better than that time he was in the cold and didn't dress for the cold at all. But now, he's at least having fun. He's looking good. Zoro, Punk Hazard, absolute unit of swag right here. Man, I gotta be so zoomed out anymore. Heck. Well, we'll just leave it like this. I can see what's going on a little bit. Okay. I say that as I literally cannot see who's next. Ah, what did I do? What is this? Mm -hmm, ba -ba -ba. Okay, next is Nami Punk Hazard. Uh, Nami Punk Hazard does look pretty good. Like, I've been ripping on her for showing too much here and there. And I've admitted I'm not the biggest Nami fan. But this, it, she's attractive in this. It looks professional. I will go ahead. This is some Nami drip. This is like, yep, you command authority and you're looking good doing it. Uh, and then immediately back to Nami Bikini. It's like, Nami, come on. I just told you to put a shirt on. And you, you took it off even more. Come on, Nami. Uh, this is Sanji. God, I cannot see what I'm doing here. <laughs> um, I think this is Sanji and he's lobby. And that was some serious drip he was wearing there. <laughs> okay. Heck. Okay. Boom. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Come far in it. Okay. Oh, why does it do that? Heck, I thought I was being smart. <gasps> okay, that's okay. We'll make it work. Looks like we've got Luffy on Alabasta up next. And, I don't know, it's fine. He's wearing his clothes. You say this gives off, you know, this is like... This is like, bruh. This is like, you're dressed. You get it. Mmm, I officially... Okay, that works. Looks like we have Nami from, uh, I think this is Punk Hazard when they were on the warm half of things. And by Nami, I definitely mean Robin. Uh, I mean, I gotta admit, that is some Riz she is wearing. Like, yeah. And then immediately we got Frankie Punk Hazard. I just, the, the form-fitting jacket over that huge body. That works for me. That just does it. That lands. Brooke Punk Hazard? 
This is an SMH, but this is, bro, this is like, mm, lime green vertical stripes. I don't know, man. Like, I know you like your wild designs, but I don't know, man. Uh, Luffy Dress Rosa, drip, no question. Zoro Dress Rosa, drip, no question. Uh, Usopp Dress Rosa, swag, no question. I'm just flying through these ones. This one, tippity top of the drip, Frankie Dress Rosa before his fight with Senor Pink. Oh my god, that is like my favorite Frankie outfit. And and even when he goes to the cannon hair fight Senor Pink, that outfit kicks so much ass also. That is my favorite Frankie outfit for sure. Okay, we got Commando Chopper here. This guy is, he's a good, he's cute, he's having a fun time. It's like, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Uh, here, uh, what is this? Robin Dress Rosa? That's drip. Dress Rosa had notoriously a lot of drip. Uh, this is SMH. This is like, Chopper, why are you naked? You got pants, you got a hat. No shoes, no shirt, no service, my boy. No shoes, no shirt, no service. Uh, let's see. Brooke Andres Rosa, I'm honestly, I'm surprised this isn't up here. They had so much to work with in terms of his outfit, but they really did just give him, like, red jacket. This is Riz. Like, this is a good outfit. He's still got the crown. He's still being Brooke. But, man, when everyone else had such a glow up. Who do we have? I think this is Luffy from a special. It doesn't look bad. I mean, like, this is, bruh, this is like, Luffy, I know you're wearing a special outfit, but, like, what are you doing? What are you trying to pull here? Zoro, SMH, man, you, you were not made to wear shorts. Jeebus. Um, Nami, I gotta admit, orange, yellow, that is your color. Put this up in swag for you. I can't even tell what's going on with Usopp here. Uh, let's see. Usa, my guy. You got swag. You're working it. You're rocking it. Listen, I don't know what's going through your mind right now, but I feel like you got some swag about you. Yeah, I'm going to try something real quick. Boom, we do that. Then we're going to do this. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Heck. Okay, there we go. Boom. Perfecto. Okay. Okay, so this is Sanji on the ship. I forget when this is. But I don't know. He looks like he's ready for adventure. He's got the striped shorts, the green t-shirt underneath. This is some straight swag he's wearing. Uh, we got Chopper. Again, not quite sure when this is. This has to be a movie. But, I don't know. I like it. I like his little shirt. I like his special hat. This guy... You got Riz, my guy. Like, you're just rizzing it up. Nico Robin. Purple. Works. Okay. Welcome. Welcome to top tier. I'm only just realizing there's no, uh... There's no Robin... Oh, wait, no, there it is. It's coming up. It's coming up. Uh, God damn it, Frankie. Welcome to Drip. Again, I'm pretty sure this is a movie outfit. I don't remember ever seeing this main series. But just look at him. Come on! Ugh. I, I absolutely... I love Frankie's design. I love everything about him. Brooke, I'm pretty sure this is... This has to be a movie. Again, I don't, I don't know what these are taken from. But Parachute Pants Brooke? Surprising amount of drip going on there. And once again, we are forced to reduce the size of the screen. This tier list is filling up. Am 
my god, that's not even everything. Heck, gonna have to pull this down. My goodness gracious. There, that's close enough. I say as I continue to edit it. Okay. Next up, we got Miss All Sunday, and that's that is right up there. That is some top tier drip going on. Uh, then we have what appears to be more movie outfits. A lot of movie outfits coming up. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of rapid fire. This, Luffy, you got some drip going on there, my guy. Undeniable. Zoro in a white suit. Surprising amount of drip happening. Uh, Zoro shirtless. I'll at least give you a swag for that one, my guy. Nami, cute white dress, short, but you know, not, not too revealing. I'll say that's some absolute drip you got on there, girly. Uh, I can't quite tell who this is. I want to say it's Usopp. Looks like he's got some absolute drip. Whatever movie these guys are all off of. Chopper, get up there with your drip, my boy. Uh, Robin, specifically her legs, I guess. Drip, like, from what I can see there, it's great. Frankie white suit. I didn't even know this was an option. That's absolute drip. Uh, I want to say this one is Sanji just because we haven't come across him yet. But I really can't tell. But he's got some Luchi vibes going on. He's got crocodile vibes going on. I'm going to say that's absolute drip. Uh, Nami on Zoe. Man, I know I'm throwing drip out lately, but I that's a great dress, Nami. It really is. Uh, here we got my boy Classic Frankie, and this is swag. Like, this is a powerful man. He's rocking his style. He's got the pompadour. He's got the, he's got the speedo. He's got just the shirt. He's good. He knows what he's about. But this is a pretty basic Usopp we've got up next. Just green shirt, Usopp, yellow pants, orange suspenders. Um, I'm going to say he's got swag. Like, it doesn't match. It doesn't necessarily look good, but he's making it look good, you know? Next up, we have Sanji Anzo before, you know, all that stuff happened. He looks pretty good, but at the same time, he's not, like, dressed like proper Sanji. I'm going to say this is bruh. This is like, what's up? Like, why are we wearing orange all of a sudden? Like, what's up? Uh, Chopper Anzo with his freaking cape. That is drip if I've ever seen it. There's so much drip, it's pushing the SMH. Ah. SMH. Oh my goodness. Why don't other people have this issue when they make their tears? Wow, we've, we've got so few to go. Uh, I believe this is Robin on uh, Zoe, like post dress Rosa Zoe. And there's nothing special about this outfit. It's cute, though, like, for sure. I'll go ahead and say this outfit's got Riz. Like, you looking good, not Robin. Uh, Luffy whole cake before they get suits. Absolute unit of swag. Post suits, absolute unit of drip. Undeniable. Nami on um, with her, uh, uh, like, post-assassination attempt dress thing. Drip in a hundred percent. I don't care how biased I am. That looks good. Uh, your you know beer garden girl outfit though. It's like Nami. Come on, you're trying too hard. You are trying too hard. I don't care what you look like. You're trying too hard. Sanji in his wedding outfit with the red cape. Well, I guess that's not his wedding outfit, but yeah, red cape Sanji. That is some absolute drip. Wedding outfit, Sanji? I don't know, he, he doesn't look bad, but where's the cape, man? Go get the cape. You're swag without that cape, but with the cape? Mm. Got Brooke on Thriller Bark. This is some absolute riz right here. Uh, Really, you know, it, it's a good outfit. It's a basic outfit. Great introduction to the character. Really sums him up, but there's nothing special about it. Uh, We have Chopper from... I forget what arc this is here. This might be Fishman Island Chopper. I don't remember genuinely. But he's looking cute. He's having a good time. He's got Riz. 
Uh, who's up next? We got... Is that Shogun Frankie? Yeah, Shogun Frankie's got swag. And then here we have my boy... This is Frankie back on Water 7 before he was a good guy. And I don't know. It's like, bruh, this is what you wear? This isn't like SMH, but it's like, this is the face of the underground? Uh, here we have Frankie in his I Sun H T shirt. I don't. I think it's supposed to be like I love hot. I don't know, man. This this is right there. Like, what are you trying to say? Like, what are you trying to do? Uh, we got Luffy roof piece here. That's absolute drip. Like, that's a Luffy you don't want to mess with. Uh, you've got Sanji in his power armor. I'm gonna say this is bruh. No, sorry, sorry. This is SMH. This is like, Sanji, what are you doing? Sanji, you know better. Like, does the suit give you power? Yeah. But come on, man. You know better. Shame on you. Shame on you, Sanji. Uh, looks like we got Kanuchi Nami about to go into battle. Uh, I'll, I'll say this as swag. Like, it's not the worst outfit it's it's not revealing. It doesn't make me hate Nami, but there's nothing special about it. Nah, this is bruh. This is just like Nami's wearing clothes. Like, okay. Uh, we got Vampire Hunter Usopp from uh, Thriller Bark here. I don't know. This has swag. Like, sure, the entire outfit summarizes how much of a coward he is. But I don't know. I like him. I like Vampire Hunter Usopp. And lastly, we have Samurai Chopper. And if I don't give him drip, can I even say that's a true sentence? No, absolutely not. But guys, this is it. This is my definitive one. Oh, it was arm day at the gym. This is my definitive one piece outfit of the Straw Hats tier list. I'm fairly confident we're missing at least a few in there. Uh, but at the same time... Loving it all. Looks really good. I I am happy with my placements here. I'll uh, insert a blown up image so you guys can see them a bit better. But yeah, that's uh, that's going to do it for the ranking of the Straw Hat outfit. So let me know in the comments below. You know, yell at me about how all the Nami should have been in Drip. Or why is Frankie in Drip at all. Uh, but go ahead, let's get a discussion going in the comments. Who would you have placed? Like, give me your top five who you think I placed them in the wrong tier here. And where you would have placed them. Uh, don't be afraid to leave a like on the video also. really does help the channel grow. And, uh, you know, always uh, I'm going to encourage you to su subscribe to the channel. Again, really helps us grow. really helps keep the community alive. Keeps you guys engaged. Let's you know when we got new videos coming out. And we've always got new videos coming out. Multiple uploads weekly. So stay tuned for more. And we'll catch you guys next time.